Next up, one of the most dominant teams this season, Evgenia Tarasova and Vladimir Morozov. And after just two years together in the senior ranks, they're having a breakthrough season this year, highlighted by winning the Grand Prix Final in December and the European Championships earlier this year. triple twist another team that has the quadruple twist in their arsenal that we sometimes see in that free program side by side triple toes a little off on the takeoff but just spectacular landings Triple loop a little to the outside. She has to put the free foot down to stabilize, but maintains the flow. And all of this, by the way, with 10 stitches in her leg from an accident in this morning's training. But that much more incredible. Genya Tarasova and Vladimir Morozov from Russia. An incredible performance in this short program. And really, this is exactly what we've been seeing from them all season long in this program. It has been such a solid vehicle for them. And once again, they're able to deliver a near flawless performance. And you can see there, again, that technical score box. I have to wonder if that throw was clean, would they be leading technically over Sui and Han? You have to think, at least on the technical side, yes. Because as we've seen, when you do clean programs all season long, your scores get higher and higher. And this short program has put them in the lead at almost every event that they've competed this season because they've been doing it cleanly. That was the biggest mistake they've made in the short all season. And it really wasn't that big of a deal. She put the foot down to stabilize. It wasn't a break in the program. The energy stayed high. And as we talked about a little earlier, that if it's just a superficial wound on the leg, it's not a big deal. But it still takes a lot of energy and emotion going through all of that on competition day. I don't even like when people call me during my nap time, let alone <laughs> having to go have a doctor stitch you up on the day of your short program. The mental toughness that she has shown is just outstanding. Getting through the side-by-side -side jumps, the throw at the mishap, the twist was spectacular. 
They've established themselves as one of the best teams in the world. They won the Grand Prix Final. They won the European Championships. And getting a second look at the throw was even better than I thought it was. Yeah. Their touchdown from the other angle looked a little bit more severe. They put themselves in a great position because when you're the top Russian team heading into the Olympics, you're probably going to be in a really good position to bring home some sort of medal. Well, and I was going to say, you mentioned establishing themselves as one of the top teams in the world, but perhaps even more importantly, establishing themselves as Russia's number one team this season. It's been such a breakthrough for these two, and it would be understandable if that pressure would start to get inside their heads a little bit, but at least in this short program, they have been completely in command and improving the performance along the way as well. Absolutely, and they just went head-to-head, -head, back to back with their biggest Russian competitor, and it wasn't even close. No. That really makes a huge statement. I know Stolbova and Klimov having a rough go has a lot to do with it, but they came out and they delivered. And it's very close, but 79.37 puts them currently in third place after the short program with one team left here in the pairs event but certainly still within striking distance heading into the free skate and as you mentioned ryan we will see plenty of big risk big reward elements in the free skate as well that could make up that ground very easily